I'm Miranda Valentine, editor of the lifestyle blog Everything Sounds Better in French, and today I'm going to show you how to cut an acorn squash. So I have my washed and dried acorn squash here in front of me. It's important that it's washed and dried because the skin is actually edible, and for a lot of recipes you will eat the skin, so you want to make sure it's nice and clean before you do that. Um, so all you'll need for sort of utensils um, and tools, you'll need a cutting board, obviously your acorn squash, um, a sharp knife, I'm using a chef's knife here, and then you're going to need um, a spoon to scoop out the inside, scoop out those seeds. Um, so you'll notice the stem is actually on this part, but you can see if I tried to cut it this way, that would be very dangerous. So you're gonna turn it stem side down so you have a nice, relatively flat surface to work on. And um, you'll see this little guy right here, you're gonna start right in the middle, it will give you a great little guide. So hold it tight, and using this, I'm just going to push down and rock slowly side to side. This one's going through relatively easy. If it's not, see, say it doesn't stop all the way, don't keep pushing through, you wanna be safe. Just gently pull your knife back out, turn it, insert the back part in the cut, and then just keep going. Ta-da, so now it is open. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, this is the traditional way uh, that people will um, cut and serve um, their acorn squash, obviously not with the seeds in the middle, uh, but these two halves, often it's easy to bake it this way, um, or you can actually uh, cube it, uh, but before you cube it, you would need to peel it. So let's remove the middle part, and we're just gonna scoop this out, just like if you're doing it with a pumpkin, any sort of squash, you know you have to, to pull this out. So just using a spoon, you could also use your fingers, but I find that a spoon really helps to get this little stringy bit, because you really wanna pull that out. So just scoop, 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 and just keep going. It's a little bit of a messy job, but that's okay. It's okay to get messy in the kitchen. And just keep scooping and sliding until those little stringy parts are out. And if your hands get slippery, which they might, just wipe them off and keep going. Okay, so we are looking good. All right, so the majority of my strings are out, all the seeds are removed. There you have it. And now it's ready to either peel, which uh, acorn squash is notoriously difficult to peel. That's why it's really good that the peel is edible. But if you have a recipe that calls for it to be cubed and peeled, um, there's a little trick. You actually would boil it first um, for about three minutes, get it kind of cooked a little bit. It helps the skin to loosen up peel it that way and then continue chopping. Um, or if you're just going to bake it, you could fill this part with butter, a little bit of brown sugar, and pop it in the oven. And that's how you cut acorn squash. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. And if there's something that you wanna learn how to make, send me an email at request at And don't forget to check out our other great videos.